the Serpent Hash Hashira or Serpent Pillar Obanai from Demon Slayer. So, new arc announced. Let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause, we go too fast. This is from the key image that they released. So I think I drew him like just one of them, like a real basic one about three years ago. So this is like a bit more complicated. So we've got a head tilted to the side, a hand and a sword. Let's rock. Three quarter pose, right? So we've got like a big eye and a small eye. So we'll go here. Right, so we'll curve it over. Like that. Right, he's, he's just kind of pointy on the corner there, and then it comes back in like that. And the the eyelid lines are normally like real thick in Demon Slayer, very thick in this image anyway. He seems to have like a little extra line just going down that way, like a spike. And then the bottom eyelid line, a thinner one. around to there and then it goes like back up into here all right and then his iris he's kind of looking down right it goes around this way and in demon slayer they kind of do these angled sort of eyes so it doesn't have to be a perfect circle and his pupil in the middle and then he seems to have like little sort of iris lines around it like little dots like that so eyelid line then curve it over he's another one like underneath his eye there as well here and then the eyebrow curving over the top and we'll thicken this up it's skinny at the back Roughly this shape. Okay, so his other eye, right, down, because we're on this horizontal line, right? This is the line we're for his face. That's behind his nose. So we'll go, we'll do the nose first. Curving there. You're about half an eye over to the nose. Like the width of his eye, probably half of it fits between his tear duct and the bridge of his nose, right? So real pointy nose and then curves back that way. And then he's a nostril. And they seem to have a little shadow on the nose here, like the, a thicker section. Like that. So his other eyelid line. So this side is going to be like not as wide as this one because we're in three quarter pose. So, let's give this a go. So we go up, down, a little sort of eyelash sticks off here in a spike, and then it comes down the back here. This is like a thick part as well, and then it goes across. there all right I'm gonna thicken up the top eyelid line a little bit as well iris again circle looking down so touching the bottom eyelid rather than the top and he's no pupil in there it's just kind of greeny gray and then we have an eyelid line just coming around the top here and the eyebrow and here again much narrower than the other side because three-quarter pose center line for his face would be like here curving 
and this side will be like half the size of this side because you can only see three quarters of his face the other quarter is turned away from this three quarter pose that's why it has that sort of name so then top of his mask so we don't have to draw a mouth which is nice it just cuts across the top of his face here and then the jaw down to there it's kind of like a triangle or like a slice of pizza and this is his chin comes around and out here <laughs> right so it looks like his mouth is huge <laughs> His hair coming across this, but we do have like bandage lines and stuff. And so these kind of crossing sort of lines. And of course the hair will cover some of this. And you should be drawing in pencil so you can erase any lines you draw over. People rage quitting who are not drawing in pencil right now. Right. So, finish the side of his face. So it was like his cheek goes out into the corner of his eye socket, and then it bumps out for the forehead, and back up just underneath his hair in there somewhere. And then his ear is over this side. So the ear lobe comes around, top of the ear here. Down like so. Now, Demon Slayer can do pretty complicated ears. But we'll like so J, the letter J. Right, that's the way I like to start them anyway. And then we can add a little bit more. If we want. They can be more complicated than Demon Slayer, but I think that's all right for us. Okay, his hair, they've kind of done a nice job on the hair. Like it looks like it's, sometimes animes like can do hair better than like anything I've ever seen. Like it looks like his hair is like heavy, the way it's like falling. So anyway, that's just me appreciating stuff. So he's got a part that comes over his eyes and then a little strand that comes down across his face. So there's like a part in his hair here, right? This is sort of V or like a seven, see that? Comes across his forehead, top there. And then this will come down across his face. And it doesn't have to be exactly like the way I'm doing it. Once you get these sort of square ends and the texture lines on the hair, you should be good to go. Right, so they're kind of square box-like pieces of hair. And it is really amazing the way they can get hair to look like it has weight and all that kind of stuff. Right, so coming across like that, right? And then there's like some texture lines and you would erase anything in here. And then, so another sort of like box-like piece of hair across his forehead here. Like another little part in his hair there. Textures there. And he has one single strand that comes across his eyes. You can do this or not. I'll do it because it's in the picture. So we're aiming sort of over the corner of the eye here. Right, let me just keep adding these sort of hairs as they flop down this way.
Okay. So tricky now, not easy. Definitely not easy. And then, so his hair comes out from his ear here and comes across the face a little bit again. Square box. I think there's another bit underneath. It goes up this way. So that means that has another texture line to it there. And then another piece of hair here. to the top of the head there and then he has some more that goes down behind the back of his head right, so some of this will disappear behind his shoulder like down here like, so his shoulder is like here somewhere right in line sort of with his earlobe and then there's a snake body coming across here. Now this is all like shaded black and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's the best I can do for his hair. Well, there's more hair here. So <laughs> you're used. So we go here. I thought we were done. We weren't done. Where am I coming here? Seems there's another one there. Comes out underneath this. It goes behind his neck somewhere there. Right, now, so the snake, right, so it wraps around his neck, so one side of it here, and the other side, sort of say the head is like down here, but we'll just get the, like the way it wraps first. Roughly, yeah, like touches there, and then the other side of it. There, and then the body coming in under here and goes around his shoulder, which is like here then. So this is his shoulder. Going down that way. There's like more fabric going off here. Like off the page. There's all black and white lines on that. So. Collar, neck, right? So, and collar. Here, he's got like a button. Just inside. Demon Slayer style. And then the back of his, so like his throat kind of here and it's got those white lines on the front and that goes under there and then underneath his hair as well so that's confusing like snake body okay so so the inside of his cloak sort of comes down here I'm not forgetting about the snake's head I just want to get a bit more 
lines in cause complicated. So we'll bring like his cape off that way and then the side of his body comes down here. And then the center line for his closed Demon Slayer uniform there. And we've got like, you know, fold lines and stuff all on this. And the inside of his chest is like in there. And then there's buttons. And this has all detailing lines on it. There. And then he's a pocket here. Right, so this is all cloak, black and white. This is his body, and there's lots of cloak here, and then a hand with the sword. So, snake, oh, more snake body. In around, underneath his hair. So it like disappears behind his hair, kind of here. So then the snake's head, kind of this kind of shape. That, and there's like a nose there right and then the eye is just like shaped like a sort of a grain of rice and it's red with a slit and then a forked tongue like that and then they have like all sort of texture lines for the body and everything so there's these they're these sort of diamond shapes right they're done with these kind of broken lines crisscross lines across the head <clears throat> and then <clears throat> basically down the body right so it's done like this kind of thing. These sort of V's, right? All the way around. And they're broken lines, they're not continuous. This will go all the way around the body. All right, and then each of these will be a section with a line coming out of it, right? So like curving. All the way around <clears throat> so you can put more detail to that if you want and I will because I can see it in the picture so down from like so we got like a base to the belly and then down from each of these there's a line like this down from the point of each one right just give it a snake-like pattern and then up here as well so we've got this sort of v-like thing situation first and then each of these has lines going that way Okay, that's that. Right, now, arm and the rest of his shoulder. So there is lots of black and white lines. I will just get the main shape for the cape and we can add those black and white lines with color afterwards. I think that's easiest, right? So basically we've got these sort of bumping folds, right here first. And there's no easy way of doing this really you just have to 
copy it as best you can. And the sleeve sort of comes down this way. To there, and then this outside of it comes around now. It's kind of elaborately done. There's a lot of detail to put into the folds here. But we'll just go around like this, maybe. Keep it a bit simpler. And yes. This is the simpler way. <laughs> okay, so that's like all the folds on his jacket and stuff. So then this comes back this way. I think there's another little line there. And then his arm comes out from his sleeve, right? So his arm is like here. But it comes out from the inside of his sleeve. And there's all folds on this as well. So like the inside of the sleeve is here. Right, this kind of thing. I don't know if there's another gap now on that. No, I think it just disappears into that hole. To there. Oh, there's a cuff sort of area, right? There's another. Thing like that, right? And of course, black and white stripes all on this, wrapping around all this stuff. Let's try and get the hand and the sword done now. Okay, so right, his sleeve, the black part of the sleeve is here first, right? And then the white part comes out of that. down to there and then this goes around and then we have his hand and wrist right so his wrist is like here and then the palm of the hand bumping around like that it's like this W sort of shape and then his thumb is the first digit we can see It goes up, down, around, it's like a fold here, and then his thumbnail is on top of that. And then the index finger comes out from up here, it goes in, and then over, and then you have four knuckles that just kind of bump over here. And then they wrap around the sword, the handle. fingernails on each finger and they're kind of long fingernails they're not sort of well, they look long to me anyway okay and then like a line for the palm of the hand 
and then the sword handle comes out from here and it can be bumpy because it's like it's wrapped in sort of fabric so it doesn't have to be kind of like a pure straight line right and then the base of it kind of goes off my page there and then this side down here And then we have this golden bottom and then it's like wrapped in this purple designs like that which has like texture all over <clears throat> like that so then the hilt of his sword, so the metal protector sort of thing. It's around there. And then the brass handle connects in there. And then we've got like a little edge to it. And there's like a little hole in it or something there. A few details like that there. And like detail lines like engraved in it. I think they're like flowers, but we have to draw something a bit simpler. So then you get this wavy serpent like sword. Of course, it comes to a point eventually. And then the other side. And we have a gray line there. And then the center of it has another. that and a line that goes down that way and there's like there's all writing and stuff on it but <clears throat> I'll just like do some simple stuff like that and then his kimono flies up the back behind the sword to a point up here goes back down behind his arm I think it joins his arm here so is that arm not sure. Oh yeah, that's part of his sleeve. Oh. <laughs> Up there, and there's like another line here. These are like stitching lines or something. And then of course it's colored black and white. Mm, that was complicated, but that's it. Obanai from the upcoming Demon Slayer arc. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.